So let's just take a hypothetical scenario, guys, where you're troubleshooting uh, a component on your car, um, electrical component of some sort, and um, you may or may not have access to the to the diagrams, right? Having the wiring diagram is obviously the ideal scenario. Having it quick at hand is even better. Sometimes actually localizing uh, the drawing is applicable to the car with respect to year model options, um, even um, variant number with respect to its line number is no small task. It, it might take you quite a bit of time. And if you're only doing preliminary checks on a system anyway, guys, does it make sense to invest that time? Are you going to spend an hour to find a diagram to then ring out a component only to find that is, there's nothing wrong with it? That doesn't make a lot of sense, right? So if you're talking about just preliminary checks, sometimes just using a bit of logic makes actually far more sense, right? So I'm going to use my, my crank, uh, sorry, my cam position sensor here only because it's conveniently located at the top of the car here, right? It's easy, easy to deal with. So you can see here, this is the cam position sensor and you can see there's three different wires on it. Okay, so that means in all likelihood is a Hall effect sensor, a three wire Hall effect sensor, and we're likely dealing with a power, a ground and a signal, right? Okay, so that significantly narrows it down but we have no idea which is which although there's a black wire there it's difficult to see the orange tracer on it guys but there is an orange tracer on it I have a strong suspicion that's likely the ground although I don't know definitively I suspect that's the ground right so sometimes it makes far more sense to actually just have a simple tool uh, like this this is the OTC uh, test light 3631 it's an active test light that is to say is supplied with a power and a ground from the battery of course um, and it will give you a red LED and a green LED green obviously if it picks up ground red for the power right so in the case of this Hall effect sensor this is really all we need to do at least preliminary checks in an expedient manner again we have a suspicion which one is the ground which leaves the power and the signal line in question right now keep in mind when it comes to a Hall effect sensor we have no idea where the cam stop rotating here so the trigger wheel could actually have the uh, the Hall effect high or could be pulling it to ground. We don't know, right? So let's check the uh, three wires here. We'll start with the suspected ground, see if we can narrow it down. Okay, I have the ignition in the run position here, guys. Again, we'll just confirm operation of the test light. And I, have a, I actually have an old school T-pin here in the uh, black and orange wire. So let's see what the uh, test light is telling us we're on ground, right? So again, it's possible that the sensor is pulling it to ground and we still don't know but we've got a pretty good idea that considering the color coding and it's confirming a ground at least momentarily here that this is likely the ground line so let's go to the other line let me see if i can do it here quickly otherwise i'll cut it out okay so now i'm on the uh, the black and uh, red let's see what we have here so we have a power. So again, this could be the signal uh, lane. It's not the ground. It's definitely not the ground because otherwise, why would there be power on it? So we know that's not the ground. So that's either the signal or the power. And the other uh, lane we looked at is either the signal or possibly the ground. So I hope you can see where I'm going here with this, guys. Right, so let's go to the middle one. We'll see what status this one gives us. Okay, so that's uh, green. So that could be the ground or it could be uh, the signal line, certainly not the power. So all we need to do to make the distinction between the signal line or the ground is simply have the engine rotating, right? Doesn't need to be running necessarily, but at least rotating, but I'm gonna go in and start it and then we'll come back and check this pin and then we should be able to, by simple logic, is make the distinction between which pins are which. Okay, so the car is clearly running here, guys. You can hear it. The, uh, and again, we're on the center pin here. The wire was the uh, yellow and uh, red. So let's see what we get here. Now we have both LEDs. So this must be the signal line. It makes no sense to have them uh, both LEDs lit with the ground. It makes no sense they have uh, both LEDs left 
this was the uh, the power supply line, the battery positive. This is the signal line, right? So we know we have the black is uh, the black and the orange is our ground. We know that the uh, the red and the black is uh, our power, and we know that the yellow and the uh, red is our signal line. So let's just uh, confirm what we uh, had found. So on the wiring diagram here, guys, item four is the uh, cam sensor. Item five is actually the crank sensor. It's a two wire VRS uh, crank sensor, but we're concerned with uh, item four, the cam sensor. So here you can see that the black and orange wire, which we thought was the ground, is in fact the ground. Um, the other wire here is not color coded, but it goes to the B positive. We confirmed that to be the uh, black and red wire. And uh, we have a red and yellow wire here, which we confirmed to be the signal wire. So we were just by, it, it's not rocket science guys, it's just simple logic, right? You know that the sensor is gonna have a power and a ground and a signal if it's a three wire Hall effect type. And uh, it's not difficult to make the distinction for a red LED, a green LED, and one that toggles between the two. Simple, straightforward. The wiring diagram is a luxury, but is it worth the investment in the time to find this? If all we've done is looked at a component that is actually fully operational, um, at least in a preliminary sense, we can now move on to something else if we had an issue with the car. No, that's this is not a, an oscilloscope, you know? Is it is it getting a full 12 volts? Is it pulling it to ground completely uh, on the signal line? Is the ground sound? difficult to see with just this um, anything above uh, three volts is going to give you the red LED guys um, so it's a wee bit difficult to say in that sense right but for me from a preliminary assessment standpoint plenty good time to move on to something else and if uh, you know you're getting stumped then perhaps it's time to pull out the more significant tools spend the time on the wiring diagram and start digging deeper but why spend a lot of time only to check something that there's nothing wrong with, is the point. Right? That's it, boys. Cheers.